Hello and welcome to the latest Cereals and Oil Seeds Market Update. I'm Alice Jones, the Senior Analyst here at the AHDB. Global grain markets have continued to trade at high prices, which has translated into the domestic market too. UK ex-farm feed grain prices have risen significantly since the start of the marketing year in July, and despite a slight drop in value recently, continue to trade at near record highs. Since July, the price gap between feed wheat and feed barley has squeezed considerably. On the 13th of January 2022, ex-farm feed barley prices and our corn return survey were valued at just £4.50 per tonne below feed wheat, compared to the £51.60 per tonne discount at the same point last year. Feeder hoots have also experienced price gains since the start of the marketing year on the back of wheat and barley markets. In the first six months, so from the 1st of July 2021 to the 6th of January 2022, ex-farm feed oats in the UK have gained £40.50 per tonne, quoting them at the highest price since August 1994, when feed oats were added to the corn return survey at £168 per tonne. However, despite the price rise, feed oats have managed to keep a decent price discount to domestic wheat and barley, making them attractive to feed compounders throughout this season. GB animal feed production numbers were updated to include November, early in January, and these support the idea that the large price discount held by feed oats has boosted oat demand. At 50,000 tonnes, July to November oat use in GB animal feed production is up 89% compared to the last season and 118% on the five-year average. Considering the price discount oats held throughout December and January, it is expected that oat demand for animal feed will have continued at a strong pace, with availability being a greater limiting factor. Although not included in the GB animal feed survey, it is anticipated that fed on farm oat volumes will also be high this year. To keep up to date, visit the Cereals and Oilseeds webpage, subscribe to our weekly and or daily outputs, or contact us at cereal.mi at ahdb.org.uk.